What's up you guys, this is Off Topic Games with a new deck profile for you guys. So I know already uh, you see two cards that's normally not played in this deck. Um, but just wait a minute, uh, it's pretty cool, it's really fun. Uh, this is Ogma Turbo. Um, I thought about this idea a while ago and I really advocated it because it's really cool sounding. It's really just kind of a fun deck. Um, <laughs> if you want to try in tournament, go ahead or try it out beforehand. It's really weird, uh, but I guess let me um, explain a bit before you uh, judge it. So one of the basic like things that you really want to do with this deck, if uh, your opponent doesn't know about it, or if it's a good time, is to Ogma turn 1, or first stride. Um, basically the idea is get them down to minimal cards before they can stride or do all the cool plays. So like, Gear Chronicle needs like a stride fodder and like Malem plus a card, right? So to get their like combo started. Uh, so you put them down so hard that they can't do like their optimal plays that they want to do, for example. Uh, so yeah. If you guys don't know what Agma does, he, um, Carol Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, he's Ritual 5, so you have to have 5 Grade 1s in the drop zone, uh, by the time you use the scale. It's an act once per turn. Uh, you, uh, choose a card from your G zone, turn it face up, uh, choose up to 5 of your rear guard Grade 1s, and retire them. For each rear guard that was retired by this effect, your opponent chooses, uh, a card from either their hand or their, uh, rear guard circle, puts it to the drop zone. And then, if a total of three or more rear guards were put to the drop zone by uh, both uh, fighters, with this effect, you draw a card. So, basically, if you just like retire three or whatever, you draw a card. So, that's nice. Or if I guess you retire two and they choose two, then uh, that's three, kind of. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. You just have to push them down to minimal cards and so forth. Uh, so our main point in this deck is to. A, get a bunch of grade 1s on the field, and B, hit Ritual 5 by first stride, which is actually really doable, but it really depends on like your rides and stuff. This can always change. Uh, so we're running Conrad as our starter. It's the card where you like choose a normal unit, discard it, put this card into your soul. You look at the top card, put top and bottom, and then draw a card. And then if there's a card in your G zone, uh, you can choose one of your units and it gets plus 5,000 power into the turn. So that's not a bad skill. It's really just there to... Uh, I guess fuel ritual, uh, scry and search top, and then it's a it fuels the soul, so it's pretty nice. You also don't really care about it, so you can just pop it if you want. So yeah. Uh, then we have four lures, and that's it for grade ones. Uh, we basically just wanted more room for grade th uh, grade ones, and uh, because we're running so many, we just have to cut down somewhere. And you can run four lured because striding. You don't need like extra grade threes to stride, so as long as you're on this lure, it's fine. And you have like a stride fod or something, and then uh, it's searchable kind of by Owl as the Abyssal Owl, and then you can always G assist into it, which isn't terrible. It's like whatever, it's okay. Uh, so for this deck, you don't always have to Agma. Don't like do it every single time, but um, if it's necessary and it looks good to you, then you should probably try it. It really depends on the matchup, I guess. Uh, so there's four. Uh, if you don't know what it does, it's Ritual 3 at the uh, beginning of your ride phase. You can uh, put two normal units to the bottom, uh, from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck, and then you stride for free. And uh, when you stride, uh, you can count bus one, choose one of your guards, pop it. During your turn when this unit G unit strides, you may pay the cost if you search your deck for up to two grade ones uh, or less cards. Call them two separate rear guards and then shuffle your deck. So, yeah. Um, we're running... For grade twos, four Morfessa because Morfessa is really good. This is the optimal ride in the deck, and it's also your optimal rear guard because it's just kind of big. It hits 21 usually on average, and then it's a grade one that drops on. So if you ride it, you can like soul blast it, and then it becomes a grade one drops on. It counts. Uh, we were on a one of the main because um, we're running that stand trigger that like you put two and then you call one two. You put it back and you call up to two and rest. So you can do that off it gain gain cards, and it also fuels for um. Ritual kind of, as well as gaining advantage, because if you're calling five rear guards, you won't have a lot of cards in hand, right? So you kind of want to have that um, amount or being able to do that kind of stuff. Next, we're running four Debbie Hara. I don't know about this card. It's like okay, I barely used it, uh, but maybe like tank haze are better. I have no clue. Uh, this card is very weird. Sometimes it helps because you know you're kind of filtering, so you need to like stride occasionally or like ride grade three. Uh, but if you have more on placement. Uh, if you have more than or equal to the amount of rear guards as your opponent, you can discard a card to draw a card. 
So it's not like terrible. It's 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 just okay. Uh, it can come in clutch sometimes when you like call into this with the Raven and then you use the skill discard like a draw trigger and you get a grade one, which is very nice. Um, it might have happened to me like once or something, but yeah. Uh, so just nine grade threes, uh, grade twos, but like nine isn't that bad. You can probably just hit it occasionally. Uh, the only problem is like attackers. Um, but this deck can feel so much advantage where like you eventually will get your attackers. Hopefully. If not, you can always call grade ones and stuff. Um, but yeah. And you, you can always put them back with like the lured skill. Uh, four Esrus. Um, at first I was thinking about running the main because the discard draws. But this card is so amazing. Like, it's really, really good. Um, I can show you like really random plays that I thought of with this card. It's just amazing because it came in handy. Um, just a note, I went 4-0 in the Wednesday tournament. The Wednesday tournament isn't very competitive or whatever. Uh, but it's still 4-0. And we used, out of the 8 games we played, so we went 2-0 every single game. Because I guess we're playing Lured plus, you know, Ogma. Um, I've used the uh, Ogma 6 times total. Um, 3 of them were first stride. And I didn't do it 2 times because Taylor, this scrub, decided to deck out on me so I wouldn't do it. And <laughs> wouldn't be able to do it. It was really sad, but yeah. And he decided to no guard it for the other time and I had a crit, so whatever. Uh, so for grade ones, we're running a lot. I think it's like 19 or something. Uh, Shouts to Alex19. Um, so four Abyssal Owl, uh, on call from your hand. Uh, search top seven card for a lured card, and then add it to your hand, and then discard uh, cards with grades equal to grade three. So you can discard a grade two and a grade one, or three grade ones if you really, really want to. Um, and then the other skill is when this card is retired uh, on your rear guard by the effect of or cost of your card with Lured, uh, you can unflip the damage for Ritual 3. So it's pretty nice as well. Uh, next we run 4 Stride Fodders because we need a Stride and it's we need a Stride first Stride uh, if we're going second, so we kind of need this. Running 2 Aryan Hood, it's like it's the Gojo clone. Rest it to discard draw. Again, to fuel ritual if you want, and kind of just filter your deck for more uh, cards that you can get. It's kind of like a puzzle. It's very interesting. Uh, then we have this much hated card that we have to run. It's Swordbreaker. We're running it as a two of because we need to. Um, basically, if you ride a Grade One and you ride a Morfessa, you can call this off of Lured, both of them, to Soul Blast two Grade Ones, or the Morfessa and the Grade One, to get two more ritual cards in your drop zone because you're striding. Uh, so yeah. Uh, for triggers, this is kind of weird, but it kind of makes sense. Uh, obviously for uh, Belial, Belial Owl, because drawing is nice. Um, if you don't know what it does, it's from your drop zone, Ritual 3, GB1. At the end of the turn, if you have a Vanguard with Lure in his card name, you may pay the cost uh, to put it to the bottom of your deck. Sorry. You may put this card to, your bottom, to the bottom of your deck, which is very nice. It's self-sustaining. And then the other skill is uh, when this unit is retired... Uh, from rear guard for the effect or cost of a card if you have a vanguard uh, with lured in his card name you can draw a card so the drawing is also very nice running four and one crit which means we're only running five crit and that's kind of crazy I know but um, it might be my certain play style but I really like it uh, in lured like five isn't bad even though you might be searching this a lot Generally, I don't search this as much first stride. Um, I usually go into Swordbreaker, which is arguably the same thing, but I get more cards. I get more crits still in the deck. Uh, so, but I do do this a lot. Yeah. So yes, you may have a problem critting, but uh, you're running Ogma, so whatever. <laughs> uh, running four heals, because heals are very nice. Uh, G-guarding and so forth. Uh, two Ravens. This card is really cool. Uh, GB1, you can rest this unit and put this... Unit to the top of your deck, shuffle, look at uh, two cards uh, from among them, search for up to two cards, uh, call them to separate rear guards as rest, and then put the rest to the bottom at any order, and then at the end of the turn you retire them. Um, so this card is really good because you can get in the main, you can get Swordbreaker, you can get Owl, and it just fuels for things that you want to retire. And you're probably going to retire them anyways because they're at rest and you just have to do it for like pluses, so it's generally just very nice to do. Um, you can also get Esrus, which is very interesting. This is what I did recently, where like I have an Esrus and drop because I wrote it or something. I called, I use this card. I called the Esrus, popped it. So now I have two, and now I can use the Esrus skill to add one back to my hand, put it to the bottom of the deck, which is very cool. 
And then, crazy enough, we're running five draw triggers. So four of which is the Marvel clone, and one is the generic vanilla. Uh, we're running five draw triggers because you need a lot of advantage in the deck. And um, especially if you're like Ogmaing, right? Um, you kind of need to hit your pieces. It's nice if you draw trigger into Lured. It's good if you just hit, the, hit it in the damage zone. And yeah. I think it's very important, actually. Draw triggers are very nice when you like, you're kind of like hoping for them. Um, for our G zone, we're only running one Ogma. I know this is an Ogma deck, but we're only running one. One because Ryan only had one, and I guess. And then technically, you, you only really need to go into this one. You just, once, you just have to pick a good time for it. And it's possible it's just not easy to go into this a second time because you need to have Ritual 5 and yet you need to preferably have 5 rear guards in the, in the, on the field, which is like crazy, kind of. So yeah. I already said what this does, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's also really nice looking. He looks really cool. Uh, too Doomed for the first turn play, or uh, of course you don't have to go into it if you're going to Ogma, but drawing cards and retiring your opponent's board is possibly nice. Uh, it's once per turn, kind of last one, choose an Orgeyser, turn it face up. Uh, you retire three um, cards. You reveal top two for each grade one or lower. That's revealed, you uh, retire one of your opponent's rear guards. And then you put them to your hand, right? And then if you have three Orgeysers face up in your, dam or in your uh, G zone, it gets a crit, which is cool. Yeah. Uh, three Orgeysers. Reason why we're running three is in case we want to do this first, um, or if we just want to use Orgizer first. This can also the third one or one of these, whichever one isn't used, can be cost for like um, Spectral or Ogma or whatever. And we're also running Sabreeze, so yeah. Uh, we're running only one Spectral, and I know it's kind of crazy. Um, a lot of people usually run two because this deck normally needs like a push. But um, Ogma can be a push in its own way, so it's kind of like a replacement. Of course, you can always add one more in if you want, it's, it's fine. Uh, we're only running one currently. Um, so if you don't know what it does, it's a uh, once per turn, Soul Blast 1. Choose a card from your G-Zone, turn it face up, and then choose one of your rear guards and retire it. Uh, if you do, it gets the Act once per turn skill, GB3. Counter Blast 2, choose two of your rear guards, retire them. Uh, at the end of the battle, this unit attack the Vanguard. You may pay the cost if you do stand this unit, and this get this card gets neg two drive check. So it's a three drive check and then one drive check. And then if you have a hard card, this doesn't matter. But uh, if you have a hard card with Diablo one's card name, search your deck for up to one grade one, call it to rear guard, and then shuffle your deck. So that that bottom part doesn't really matter, but yeah. Uh, again, you can only run one. You can run two if you want. We're only running one because um, I guess like Soul Blast cost is kind of a problem maybe, and uh, so forth. Uh, we're running two carnivores, uh, because sometimes counterblast can be an issue. Popping two is nice. If you're playing Ogma, you want to kind of like, I guess, retire their board might be a good way to put it. If not, it's like, um, make it so they don't have a lot of cards in hand and uh, things on board so you can Ogma. Um, so I guess that's kind of why. It's also just free. And uh, if they don't have rear guards, you like get power. So it's not terrible. Uh, running two, I actually didn't even go into this card at all because I managed my counter blast pretty well. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you want, you can just replace this with the spectral if you want. It really depends, up to you guys. Uh, two phantom blaster diablos because if they don't call a field and you don't think augma is necessary, you can always do this. Um, Thirty six plus crit is also just generally a nice thing uh, for counter blast one, and then you can also use the skill to make them. Uh, you know, have less cards, um, make them have to retire too, etc, etc. So it's kind of just nice, it's like lowering down their, their defenses so you can augment and stuff. Yeah. Uh, we're running for a G-Guards 3 plot maker because plot maker is good. Uh, 25k guard for Ritual 3. N not Ritual 3, not much else to say there. And then one Dismal for like D Police or like Vanquisher or something weird. Um, again, this G-Zone can be changed if you guys want. We're not running. Oh, sorry. I'm missing a card, and it's a breeze. Uh, but we're also running some breeze. That should be 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. So, four of those G guards. 
three of the plot makers, one dismal, and we are running one Sabreeze because if people get grade locked or decide to grade lock themselves, themselves against us, Sabreeze is just a nice card to have. Um, it gives us some form of advantage because you can lure it in stuff. So yeah, Sabreeze is also just a card that you should run. Uh, again, it's possible that you may never go into it, but it's nice to have rather than not have. <clears throat> so, a way to get Ritual 5 by First Stride isn't really hard, but um, this is just like if you have an optimal setup. Again, if you like do what the deck does and filter a little, it's not a problem. Um, but I think this can work if you have zero cards in the drop zone. That's uh, grade one. It really depends. Um, but uh, this is some form of this. So like, you can uh, let's say you have zero cards in the drop zone. Like zero whatsoever. And uh, you're going second, so you can stride first. So you stride with stride fodder, that's one. Stride into Ogma or whatever. Use your. Uh, I don't know how much counter glass you have. Let's say you have three. So three counter glass open. Uh, use lured skill, counter blast one, pop a grade one. Call two uh, sword breakers. Both sword breakers activate. Uh, soul blast two, draw two. And already you have four grade ones in the drop zone because more offensive counts as a grade one if you're GB one. Um, and then after that, you can use your Conrad skill to put in the soul, discard grade one in, from your hand if you have it, search top, you know, do your thing, and then now you have f five cards with grade one as well as a card in soul for Agma. Uh, obviously, this is not very. This is really it's kind of situational. <clears throat> um, obviously, you should never have zero cards in the drop zone if you're Agma Turbo, right? But just in case, you have some form of this that you can do. It can always change. Maybe you have like a Owl instead that you pop and you draw and you just get more pluses. Maybe instead of a Sword Breaker, you call like Raven if you want to like hope for two grade ones or cards that can get you cards or get you there. Things like that. Uh, granted, you don't always have to go into Agma. But it's Agma Turbo, so if you see the opportunity, you have to take it because it's Agma Turbo. It's a really fun deck. Uh, I really suggest that you guys at least try it. Um, it doesn't have to be this specific uh, deck build. It can be totally different. Up to you. Agma is an underrated card. Uh, it's super cool. Probably not the best card at all. It could be a lot better, but whatever. Uh, we take it. And yeah, this is Off Topic Games. Thank you guys all for watching. Um, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, comments, questions, or ruling concerns, please leave them down in the comment section down below. And as always, Facebook and Twitter will be in the uh, description below. And yeah, I'll see you all later, guys.